YouTube we are back at it today we are on the road dad and I we got some stones on the back end of the truck that need to be set so we are going to do that we'll see what else we may get up to either way we're gonna have a lot of fun so come along <laughs> to the first cemetery here just jumping out it's kind of a long way down over there this old truck is big all right we'll get out solid ground and I'm gonna set that one right there so that'll be easy no base on that one so it'll be quick we got her on the cart now we just got to take her over this is the old-fashioned way to do it right here Back when Guy was setting, so the cemetery guy that was in here, he used to set for EC Crooks, and that was his job, was to do setting runs. Him and another guy, they do big long runs, that's all they did I think, was set for them. They'd go all over the place. So this is a pretty easy one. How am I left to right? Front to back, in farther or no? Yeah, it should have been in farther. All right. Perfect. Well, I think that's it. But looking at this foundation, Makes me wonder if it needs a base. We'll see. We'll pull it up and double check, but I think this was no base on this, was my understanding. Dad's looking it up to double check. No base. No base. That was just the information we was hoping for. That's perfect. So, that one there is done. Looks nice there. It's kind of matching these ones. So, that's it for that one. Next one we need is up in here a little bit. I will go ahead and take this back that way. Starting to get a few sprinkles. You can see the sky is kind of dark. I don't know if it's gonna stay nice or what it's gonna do, hard to tell, but we'll see. All right, well, it has been raining as you could probably see. I left this on. Uh, Dad and I sat in the truck a little bit, hoping the rain would go away and Right now it actually has, so we'll see if we can get this finished without uh, without getting too wet here. Time will tell. I'll set you back up on time lapse. You can watch us finish setting this. I'm gonna set you a little closer though. I'll let Dad come around here with that. I'll bring you right up in on the action here. All right, we got some nice blue sky behind me there. Looks nice. Over here, not quite as much. Over there, a little bit nicer. Either way, we got this one done. It uh, looks real nice setting there. And another job well done. So another probably happy customer. Have to give them a call. Let them know the stone is finished. But we are finished in this cemetery. We didn't get too wet, a little damp, but not too bad. On we go. All right, it's a beautiful Saturday. And Dad and I are back out at the cemeteries setting stones. We got two done already this morning, and we got a few more to do. This is the Logan stone that we're going to work on here. You guys have seen it in a lot of videos. Been sitting in the shop through the winter, and uh, finally it is a nice enough day. We can get out here and get her set. All right, we found the spot here. Dad's going to get the truck. We'll move the truck over to here because it's a lot closer. And this we have to set with a cart. The uh, cemetery is very picky about driving on the lawn. No driving on the lawn in here. So we uh, do our very best to stay away from it. Keep everything looking nice. So this cemetery is very wet. Very wet compared to a lot of cemeteries. And so it, uh, yeah, that's why there's no driving on these lawns. They just stays wet almost all year long never really fully dries 
everything kind of drains off this field over here and sort of runs down into this cemetery so it creates a bit of a hassle but that's how she goes sometimes often I time lapse this part so today I'm just gonna put the video on and run, let it run and talk through it I'm gonna grab my setting compound here this is I always describe it as a clay like substance and that is what goes between the two pieces of granite it's basically there to seal out water it doesn't give it a lot of structural stability that's not really the point it does give a little bit but not a ton so this we get out we need to soften it up and warm it up a little bit get some yucky bits off always makes kind of a crust on top now that I got a good bit of it out I'm just gonna take and knead it to warm it up a little soften it a little with my hands and fingers depending on the temperature out sometimes you don't really need to do this this is lighter gray we have a darker gray lighter gray is better in the colder temperatures the darker gray is nicer in the summer it doesn't get too uh, soft too quick like this does more in the summer so that's kind of good so I'll leave that for the other side pinch off the chunk I think I will need okay and then you just roll it out make a nice long snake with it you want it long and even roll the ends roll the middle basically I'm just trying to get a consistent and as it starts to pull out it'll kind of hit right where you want and then you know you want to stop now you always want to go back through once you have this stuff on your fingers you touch that black stone it will uh, it will mark it up a lot so I'm going to do this right here put a rag down there that will allow me to do this part without having to touch the stone and we just scoot it under like so so again I just feed this in feed it under like so how do I have the back set up over there dad will you be able to grab the back Just clap those on like he's got there. Then he will lift up. Once I feel him lift up, I pull the stick. Make sure those meet nice. And I'm good. So then he'll easily let it down. Boom, boom. There. Now I like to give it just a second let it settle a second before I start cutting it kind of presses down a little bit and settles and then when I cut you'll see I kind of rather than going straight I kind of cut at an angle so I'm cutting back in a little bit that way the little bit more that presses out will come in pretty well even if I've done my job right there that get a nice clean cut across the front and if you got a good cut it should peel up real nice now got a little bit there that didn't cut as nice as I would like so kind of have to be careful slicing again because you want one continuous line Get all those little extra pieces and things. Come down to the end where you can't see here. And 
that is a set stone. So this bucket just has water sits on top. See that off colored little bit there? That's the crust I was talking about, like that right there. Yeah, not good, but always builds a little bit, but the water helps it keep from building quickly. So, we'll put that back in there. Stand back, look at it. A lot of times, that will leave a little stuff. I'm just a tad off of center. There, that's better. Hope you guys really enjoyed seeing this stone set and coming along. Always good to get another customer taken care of and a family that can have that last thing done and checked off their list of things they need to do for their loved ones. So a lot of times it's on people's minds until we get it done. So glad we can have this done for the Logan family. Bob actually worked for my grandpa as a hired hand back when my grandpa had a berry farm. So this one was uh, a little more special to us than some maybe. So glad that it's done and done for his family. And yeah, it's great. All right, well, thank you guys for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We'll see you next time.